Abraham Sloan built a mill on Sloan's Creek in the 19th century. He did not understand the connection that Sloan's Creek had to the levees, to the walls, to the river. A historian recently wrote that in order to understand America, you don't need to understand baseball or Hollywood or Washington, D.C. You need to understand the Mississippi River. It drains almost half of the nation. Uh, it's the greatest engineering challenge to America. It has been. We discovered it late in our history in some ways. For instance, we knew more about the Blue Nile than we did the Mississippi in 1800. But in America, it reflects who we are. We can be vicious, we can be terrifying, we can be peaceful, we can be beautiful, we can be polite. The river is all things to all people. And we live along it. The whole system now replaced what was a simple solution at the first stage, and that was to control it with levees. By the spring of 1927, the Mississippi was at an all-time high. It was the flood that changed America, as John Barry says. It made America. It overwhelmed the river system. It overwhelmed the control system. And as a result of that, the destruction was so enormous, Congress had to do something. And they picked the Jadwin Plan, uh, developed by Edgar Jadwin, who was chairman of the Mississippi River Commission, graduate of West Point. He had worked with William Gothels in the construction of the Panama Canal. It was finished in 1914. The Jadwin Plan, started with Sloan's Creek and Cape Girardeau. Those of us who live in Cape Girardeau cross over Sloan's Creek pretty frequently, but we pay little attention to it. Named for Hiram Sloan, who had a mill on that creek that empties into the Mississippi, just above uh, where the uh, casino is today. And Sloan's Creek is the top of the new Jadwin plan system. But it's a very important feature of the American landscape. It's an important feature of the Mississippi in the modern world. So whatever happens on the Mississippi begins in Sloan's Creek in Cape Girardeau, Missouri. Most people who live here, live along the river, have little awareness of that. Sloan's Creek is an important point in the history of the river, on the river, and of the river.